Hello everybody, Tricolo Steve with you here again and today I'm going to talk about a trike called the, the uh, Kent Roamer. Um, also available at Walmart. I did a, a talk a little while back on the uh, Kent Cavalier that was $698 and um, today I'm going to just introduce you to the Kent Roamer, another uh, trike that the company makes and it is available for Walmart through Walmart but it's uh, in the 800s and we'll look at that here in a second. I'm looking at my computer at the same time I'm talking to you and so that's why I'm going to be looking a little bit different but first I'm going to tell you a little bit about Kent International here. It's an American bicycle manufacturer based in Parsippany, New Jersey. It imports and distributes bicycles and bicycle accessories worldwide. As of 2014, it was considered the second largest manufacturer of bicycles in the United States. You see, I didn't know any of this. The company dates back to the early 1900s when Abraham Camier, an immigrant to the United States, began restoring bicycles in New York City. But it, this, is all, this is all on Wikipedia, what I'm looking at here now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to Okay, here's the uh, Kent Cavalier 20 inch uh, trike that I talked about a while back. Uh, this is on the Kent website and it gives features here laid back uh, position, 20 inch wheels, seven speeds with a turny TX derailleur making smooth shifts, and it gives some information here about it. And that's the one we talked about before. And now there's also a Kent Roamer, uh, which you see here now, 24-inch Kent Roamer recumbent. Now it has 24-inch wheels rather than the 20-inch wheels, so it'll probably it'll sit a little higher off the ground. And it talks about the laid-back uh, position. Uh, two, you know, okay, the two, oh, I see here, I'm sorry, the two front wheels are 20-inch, and the rear wheel is 24, so it's a larger rear wheel. But it does not give any uh, information about the shifting. Perhaps the shifting is the same as the uh, Kent Cavalier. Now the Kent Roamer, okay, if you recall the Kent Cavalier with all three 20-inch wheels I spoke about several weeks ago <coughs> was... Uh, uh, 600, $698, this Kent Cavalier, as you can see here, or this Kent Roamer, I'm sorry, it, they look very similar. Uh, this is $868. <clears throat> so, it's it's a few, it's, uh, you know, it's it's more expensive, so $160, $170 more expensive. Now, I don't know if that's just for the uh, 24 inch rear wheel um, is the gearing the same as the uh, Cavalier it just doesn't say either on the Walmart website or the uh, Kent website okay I'm reading here let me enlarge this a little bit make it easier to see okay it just says how, how comfortable it is to ride 24 inch black it's black uh, paint okay but basically Kent okay there's the Kent Romer there we go I should have made these bigger from the start and the Kent Cavalier so there's the Cavalier that I talked about a few weeks ago with 20 inch wheels all around and here's the Romer um, oh, here's a bigger picture of it, right there. Looks pretty much the same to me. Not a whole lot of difference between the Roamer and the Cavalier, which you're seeing now. There's the Cavalier, and here's the Roamer. Looks like the design is uh, nearly identical. But, so you can spend, what, 170 bucks more for the Roamer if you want that 24-inch wheel on the back instead of the 20. So, if anybody out there has information 
about why the uh, Roamer is 170 bucks or whatever more. My battery went dead. Okay, got a new battery. So what I was saying is if anybody has any information as to why the price difference of 170 bucks or whatever it works out to be, uh, let us know. It appears from just glancing at it that the 24 inch wheel is the only thing that I can see that appears different. And since Kent or Walmart, neither one of them uh, actually give you any specifics as to the uh, um, specifications of this trike, all we can tell, all I can tell anyway, is just looking at the photograph, which isn't much. And I would imagine uh, from an economy standpoint and a profit standpoint, they would pretty much keep the trike the same. So maybe they just put on the larger rear wheel. But let us know if you, if you know and there are some reviews down here. Where are they? It's got five star, uh, ten five star reviews and one one star. Um, cheap derailleur. Very cheaply made. Derailleur was bent upon arrival. The next one was the same and won't shift correctly. Seat uncomfortable, brake handles. Brake handles messed up so you can't use them and see the speed indicator at the same time. Adjusted them and and your wrist can't bend back far enough. Poor design. Buy a trike in person, not from online on Walmart. That's what one person says. <laughs> but the other ones are all given at five star. Works great. Amazing and inclusive. Love the head support. Enjoyed the ride. It's perfect. So there's mostly... Uh, uh, positive reviews here about the uh, Kent Romer 24 inch rear wheel but you guys chime in like you did before got a lot of good uh, positive informa uh, information about the Kent Cavalier a few weeks ago and some of these issues that uh, like they talk about here but uh, apparently maybe they're easily fixed I don't know but if if you're looking for something that you can get sent to you at no charge from Walmart and you can order it online and you want a trike that doesn't break the bank, either this Kent Romer or the Kent Cavalier might be the ticket. So, uh, yeah, give us some feedback on the Kent Romer, those of you who have it, and let us know what the difference is between this Romer for 868 bucks and the Cavalier for, uh, let's see, yeah, that's that was 698 All right, folks, thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.